Absolutely. There's no shame Absolutely. in finding yourself short. I have a letter actually here. Why don't you talk to me about the letter? What, what is this letter? This was a letter that um, somebody wrote in to Vincent de Paul, and I think it's 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 not very long, but it it says everything. So we'd love to. So and this is from yeah. somebody who, who's actually had who's benefited Absol from. And this is recent. This okay, is because well, of you know COVID nineteen. Okay, even better. Okay, love to hear. <clears throat> I'd just like to say a big thank you to all at St Vincent de Paul for the help you have given me over the last couple of weeks. I was in a difficult situation financially, having no income for over a month, and as my small business had been affected by COVID-19. I had been getting loans week to week from my sister, who I promised to repay once I received my COVID-19 payment. Unfortunately, my application was refused. I was down to my last few euro, and I actually borrowed some money from my children, aged 13 and 16, to buy bread, milk and cheese. I did not feel I could go back to my sister for another loan, having left her with the expectation that I would be repaying it once I had my COVID-19 payment. I have never had to approach a charity for help in the past, and I have given regularly, if modestly, to charities. I felt hesitant to look for help, but decided to swallow my pride. The first I thought to contact was St Vincent de Paul. I looked your local number up online and phoned you. I explained my situation and became a little upset doing so as I hadn't talked to anyone about it. The person on the line was understanding and considerate and promised to have some help for me that very day. I felt a great weight lifted off me immediately. You followed through on that promise and have been a great help over the last couple of weeks. Everyone I was in contact with treated me with treated me graciously and without judgment. And this has allowed me to accept your assistance without feeling any shame. Thank you. Well, that exemplifies everything that's yeah, great about it Vincent does. Paul. And that person, I hope that person is doing okay, by the way. And they, Absolutely. And I'd say representative of so many people who are just out of the loop, who couldn't get the payment, could barely afford bread, and having Absolutely. to borrow from a 13, 16-year-old mm. ch children. It's not fair and it's not right, and that's what they're there for. They, I often say that they, they can put a tin of biscuits on the shelf and a bale of briquettes on the fire. It's that mm. simple. Absolutely And, and, it and is. yet that profound heat, food, mm -hmm. and, and a bill basics. paid when you... Basics. And done mm -hmm. quietly, discreetly, and, yeah. and leaving you with your dignity uh, and pride intact. Mm. And people should know, you know, it's not weak to ask for help. Of course it's not. It's actually, I think, a sign of strength because it says... I'm not willing to give up. I am going to fight for my family. I'm going to fight for the basics. And if that means phoning St Vincent de Paul, yeah. I am willing and, to do and that. I should